This is Mike Tolliver for ICOC Hot News. We were able to catch up with John and Kay Hoyt in Santiago, Chile. They have given us an update here on the situation with the churches in Santiago and Concepcion in the aftermath of the horrific earthquake that struck there Obviously, last week. Obviously, suffered one of the biggest earthquakes in the last 50 years. John, could you fill us in on the situation in Santiago and Concepcion, please? Yeah, thanks so much, Mike. Um, it's been a very intense time here for the disciples. Uh, the church in Santiago is about 200 members, and uh, thanks be to God, um, we found almost all of the members. There's only five right now that we're still trying to contact, um, but all of the disciples are safe. They're in good conditions. Uh, we've had a, an intense time. As I said, my wife and I were actually on a campus retreat out in the, the mountains, but uh, we came back and uh, found the city, and basically the disciples, uh, God's taking good care of us. Um, only two disciples have lost their homes, and both of those homes were covered by insurance, so uh, that should be, they should be able to be taken care of there. Um, the rest of the disciples have suffered minor losses of you know, small things in their houses that fell down and everything. But other than that, we're all safe and in good health, and, and everybody's fine. Uh, the church in Concepcion, which is about 300 miles south of Santiago, uh, has suffered more. Concepcion was uh, really close to the center of the earthquake, and uh, down there they've, they've had a much more difficult time. Uh, God has taken care of the disciples. They're all together. They're all safe. Um, they are actually waiting for one of the brothers from Santiago who's going to be going down there today to bring them some more food and water. Uh, but they do have food and water. They're, uh, they're together. Uh, none of their homes were destroyed. Uh, none of the disciples' homes in Concepcion were destroyed. Really, uh, for, for, for the sisters, it was scary. I mean, that was the biggest thing is just everybody grabbing onto their children and um, just feeling a lot of fear of what was going to happen. And so... I think all of us is just have kind of had to band together and, and uh, just try to encourage each other. But we're really, really grateful for all of the help, all of the support, all of the people who have called to ask um, if they can help in any way. And um, we just want to, you know, ask that you would continue to pray. Um, but in general, I think we're, we're in good spirits as, as the church goes. And for people who want to contribute? Um, you can uh, go to Hope Worldwide's website. Uh, they, they are receiving donations. And um, if you need to, if you want to donate uh, directly to the church here, you could uh, send me an email. Um, my email is john.hoyt, the number three, at gmail.com.